Breaking news to tell you about, just to reiterate in case you're just joining us, the White House, President Obama has decided to release his official birth certificate. In fact, our Dan Lothian is standing by at the White House. He has a photocopy of it, but uh, exactly. rest assured right there. Tell us, I mean, you are going to announce some changes in Obama's administration, and all of a sudden, they come out and hand you this? That's right. Jay Carney walks out. Uh, the uh, communications director here at the White House, Dan Pfeiffer, walks out. Uh, they start handing out these documents. Um, I was thinking that it had something to do with the national uh, security shakeup, perhaps. Um, but in fact, I was staring at this uh, a copy of President Obama's long form birth certificate, which, of course, had never been seen before in public. And it does say on there that President Obama was born in Honolulu, Hawaii. It was August 4th, 1961 at 7.24 p.m. And this has been what has uh, been at the heart of the controversy by those birthers who say that the president was not born in this country, that the short form, which is the uh, legal document in the state of Hawaii now, uh, was not adequate. They were calling on this uh, long form. You know, they want to take a look at this long form document. Well, now the White House is releasing this. The ball started rolling last week when the president uh, called on his lawyers to request two copies uh, of this document. Why now? Well, according to White House officials, they felt that this was becoming uh, a major distraction for the president at a time when the focus should be on things like the economy, on, on the whole budget battle. Uh, and in fact, uh, White House Communications Director Dan Pfeiffer said that uh, this debate had reached from the uh, nether regions of the Internet to the mainstream. And as you know, Donald Trump has made this the center of his, uh, well, not campaign yet, but he's uh, talking about possibly running for president. And this has been one of the things that he well, has been and, and talking about so point, publicly. Absolutely. And I also point this out because in a recent CNN poll, 43% of Republicans um, are not sure that Barack Obama was born in the United States. So that percentage has been growing. And with all this talk by Donald Trump, even when presented by um, ample evidence that President Obama was born in the United States by those fine reports by Gary Tuckman. There's still right. this sense, especially among Republicans, that maybe the president wasn't born in this country. I mean, is That's that right. why he came out with this? Well, it was, well, the White House says that this was something that would be bad for Republicans by him coming out and, and showing it because it was, a, the White House would be able to say, listen, you guys are dealing with a non-controversy here. Uh, it's just simply a sideshow. You don't know all the facts. But they really felt that this was a major distraction, and so that's why uh, they decided to release it now. Now, the White House thought that they had put this to bed when they, um, they released the short form early on. Um, this is the legal document in the state of Hawaii. And so they felt, why should there be any additional questions? But the questions kept coming back again about this long form, which was in a vault, as Gary Tuckman has been doing some great reporting on, uh, was locked in a vault. Very few people had taken a look at this. And I'll tell you, even, you know, reporters had been asking among themselves, you know, why did the administration not just walk out with this a long time ago. I mean, that's all they had to do um, to end this debate. Well, they've finally done it now. The big question is, will those people out there who doubt that the president was born in this country be sold on this? They'll probably <laughs> well, that think the that question. this is a fake document, that somehow it was doctored. Um, <laughs> or somebody it, but, was behind it or faked it or, or something. Someone, Gary, exactly. Gary Tuckman, you're still with us. You alluded to that just a couple of minutes ago, that there will be always there will always be some people who don't believe Barack Obama was born in the United States. I was telling people before that Donald Trump is flying into New Hampshire today, and he's going to make some remarks shortly. And when he does, of course, we'll go to that. But what do you suppose he'll say if indeed he knows that this has happened this morning. Uh, Carol, I, I think that if anyone's guess what Donald Trump will say, I think he may go back to questioning Barack Obama's education and how he got into graduate law school and college, because that's what he'd been doing the last couple of days. We'll wait and see what he does. One thing I want to tell you about this long form, the reason it's called the long form is because there are additional spaces on it compared to the official computer-generated form for things like the hospital where he was born, for things like the occupations of the parent, the occupation of the father, the ages of the parents, and there's even old-fashioned questions like, were you born on a plantation? That's one of the questions on the long form. What I'd like to ask Dan is uh, one thing that many people, many 
um, birthers and non-birthers have been saying is that they think Barack Obama did not want to release the form because perhaps the word Muslim was mentioned on it. We reported there's no space for religion whatsoever, and the health director saw no mention of religion whatsoever. And also there's been some speculation that perhaps he had a different father, and that's what so many birthers said. He don't want to release it because there was a different name for the father. So my question to Dan is, any mention of religion or a different father on that form? You know, it's it's. Uh, I'm I'm glad you brought that up because I remember watching your reports um, where they knocked down the notion that it mentioned religion. And in fact, I looked on here, and there is no mention whatsoever of religion. And there is also um, no discrepancy here with the name of his uh, father, full name of the father, Barack Hussein Obama. His race, African. Um, age of father, 25. Birthplace, uh, Kenya, East Africa. His occupation, uh, student. Um, and then uh, has the full maiden ma name of his mother, uh, Stanley Ann uh, uh, Dunham, and um, has her race as Caucasian. So, yeah, some of these issues that uh, had been widely speculated about as to the reason why the White House did not want to release this long form, uh, certainly by the evidence that we have in front of us here, um, is, is not true. Dan, what does it say specifically about the baby Barack Obama? Uh, it doesn't, you know, I thought that it would have maybe like perhaps the weight, mm -hmm. uh, something like that. No, what I read to you before um, was simply all that we have here is that it's a male, um, that uh, he was born on August 4th, 1961, and that the uh, birth happened at 7.24 p.m. in the birthplace, Honolulu, Hawaii. Dan Lothian, Gary Tuckman.